Our next speaker received a Governor's Award for the Arts, the Peggy Amsterdam Award for Outstanding Achievement. His name is Michael Kalmbach. He's also an Assistant Director of Admissions at the Delaware College of Art and Design. What I love this about him, from 2003 to 2006, he taught art and coached baseball at Washington Lee High School in Montrose, Virginia. I move we give him an extra minute so at the end of his presentation, he can describe why at 9.37 Eastern tonight, the Atlanta Braves begin their march to win the World Series. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Phillies. Who? Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Kambach. NWAA image. This is from an exhibition that we did in November of 2008. Uh, you're seeing one of my artist members uh, try to hit a pinata. What you don't see is that controlling the pinata was a man in a business suit that was controlling the movements of this with a string and pulley that was attached to the ceiling. It became a perfect metaphor for capitalism. The artist just kind of <laughs> just to get a little candy. <laughs> Many of you probably remember this uh, banner, or you've seen this banner. The story of NWAA takes place in downtown Wilmington. It takes place in Loma District. The first year that I was here, I hated on this idea. I hated on the banners. I hated on the whole concept. I thought it was so totally top down. It wasn't the grassroots effort that we needed to create a real community in downtown. The second year, we started to kind of buy into this. You know, we started to think to ourselves, maybe we should be this change that we want to see. Maybe we should take over Loma. And you'll see that we uh, gave a little homage to the Loma District and our little homage to NWA straight out of competency. <laughs> Anyways, when you combine NWAA, uh, NWA with AA, we thought that we would really create an artist collective that would serve young artists here in Wilmington. Uh, this exhibition, every 20 minutes, someone would select the pinata from the wall, then we would select somebody to control the pinata, and you try to hit it. We call this contemporary art. <laughs> or social theater, or social sculpture, or what have you. So, there's me. <laughs> I definitely hit the pinata. <laughs> I'm a baseball player and a Yankee fan. <laughs> So in May of this year, we organized an exhibition called The Rules for Staying Young. This is a contemporary art exhibition that was themed around the game of baseball. And my contribution to this show, I was talking to the curator, I was like, you know, I have a baseball pass, I coach baseball, I play baseball. I would like to set up a batting cage on West Fifth Street, in between Market and Shipley Street, and pitch batting practice to everybody who comes to the show. People would sign up to hit in this cage by selecting their plate appearance song. If you've gone to a home game, you might know that Jimmy Rollins has a good taste in music. His song comes on, he comes out to the plate. So the concept is that somebody would select their plate appearance song, they'd enter the cage, and they'd try to hit off the for the duration of their, ex their song. And this would be the, the piece. We call this pinch hit. So the greatest thing about doing this, and I think that sign, that Loma banner sign that I kind of hated on for here reminds us of. It's not what you look at, it's what you see. And when I'm going to work every day at DCAT, what I see is, I think I'd like to set up a batting cage there. <laughs> or maybe I would like to put in an exhibition of people hitting pinatas in this space over here. Or I wonder about this one storefront that's completely empty. What happens there? What's it look like inside? What can we insert in there? So really, New Wilmington Art Association is a product of the Great Recession. We would have no opportunity to do this type of work if it wasn't for this current economic situation. And so what we see is the, uh, is the opportunity or the potential to think or just to experiment with ideas. So we estimate in this 50-foot batting cage that I threw somewhere between 320 and 380 pitches that night. Um, the 50-foot batting cage, you know, the L screen moved up closer to shorter distance, really saved my arm. The very next day, though, I had to chaperone a group of French students in New York City with my wife. It was exhausting. <laughs> so anyways, you'll also see that the, our very first show from November of 2008, or one of our first shows, was Bear Drywall. 
Magically, this vacant storefront now has crisp white walls. New Wilmington Art Association tends to return the spaces that we use in better condition than what we found them in. And then hopefully someday, we're going to be sitting in one of these spots, maybe at the storefront at 421 Market Street. Maybe it'll be a cafe, maybe it'll be a bookstore. Who knows what it's going to turn into. But someday, I hope to say <laughs> that on that wall, once eight foot high dra tall drawing of Pete Rose grabbing his crotch. <laughs> so this is the stuff that we see when we look at these spaces. We're thinking through these spaces and I think slowly but surely something's going to stick, something's going to materialize. We're attracting a lot of new young artists here. We just need the rent to come down a little bit more and we'll be able to do it.